So in this video today, we're going to be discussing about how to build your emergency stockpile. Maybe you've already started. Maybe you're brand new. Maybe you just don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But we're going to get going on this video so that you can be prepared for any emergency that will be coming down the pike and you'll be ready for it. Really simple way that I came up with to build your own stockpile is going to cost you about an extra $5 a week. All right, now you're going to place and you're going to go do your own grocery shopping, or if you place an order online and have it delivered to you, however you are doing your shopping nowadays with the price of gas and fuel char charges and everything else. So you want to make sure that you are doing your shopping and everything else. But that five extra dollars per week, you're gonna be buying one of these said products. And you're gonna filter these products back and forth between a food product and a survival product. And I'll explain what I'm talking about survival products in just a second. So let's just say the first week you're going to go and you're going to spend $5 and buy as much rice as you possibly can buy. All right. Now, whatever that may be, depending on what stores you're buying at, you may be able to get a, quite a few pounds of rice. All right. So that's the first week. The second week, maybe you want to turn around. You want to buy yourself a halfway decent flashlight. All right. Now, turn back around. On the third week, you want to come back around. Maybe then you want to buy as much flour as you can for $5. Now, remember, each time that you are buying these products, these are not your everyday use products. These are to be put away for a total emergency situation in case something tremendously bad happens, an emergency condition, a grid down situation, SHTF, or maybe a natural disaster, any one of these things and anything it does cover. All right, this is what you're going to be putting away for your rainy day fund. Okay, now you just want to keep going on down the list. So keep rotating all the way down. Now, some of the food products and stuff that you probably want to just to throw it out there in case you guys are new and stuff. So if you're buying your flour, you got to make sure that you have baking soda or baking powder. You want to make sure you have yeast. You want to make sure you have sugars and salts. You want to make sure that you have spices and all those different types of things. You can buy all kinds of spices. Walmart, they're still 98 cents for the little tube there. You want to put those away and you can get stuff for a while, you know, pepper and salt. And then you want you know, like your canned goods and all that kind of stuff. So you want canned goods as far as vegetables and potatoes your canned meats you know your hams um you have your canned hams you have canned spam you can get canned pulled pork you can get canned beef strips you can get canned chicken you get canned tuna all this different type of stuff each week you are going through all this kind of stuff pick up something five dollars and buy as much as that product as you can now you on the other side with your survival type products that you're going to need. And my, by saying survival products, what I am talking about here is things of the nature of paper plates, napkins, paper towels, toilet paper, wipes, medical. So you could be adding to your food first aid kit or maybe just building your own bandages and gauze and creams, rubbing alcohol, peroxide, baby powder, all these different types of products, extra toothbrushes, extra toothpaste, whatever, whatever you want to put in there, extra deodorant, um, ways of cooking, you know, whatever it is, if you ever catch a deal or anything else, that $5 is what you got to spend for that week. So if you follow this quick, easy method, folks, it's very simple for you to be putting away food and supplies at the same time. And you do it on a weekly basis. You take five dollars. Maybe if you work, say, an, you know, a couple of hours overtime, you got a little extra money in your paycheck, then take ten dollars. But just always base it off the five dollars this way here. Each time that you're going to the grocery store. And you go in there and you do all your grocery shopping. You remember, okay, I got that five extra dollars. I have this, this, and this. This is next. Let me go check this out. And maybe you may have to switch it up a little bit if you do like make yourself a list on how you want to do this because this way here, maybe they have something on sale and you can get two of them for five bucks. And voila, you know, you just got two products to put away that week instead of one. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted you to bring you this quick video today on how you can be prepared and be ready in an emergency type situation, which will cover you under all different types of situations down the line. 
All right, so you all need to really concentrate on building up your stockpile with just five bucks a week. It's very simple, very easy to do, and I think you all can do it. So until next time, folks, hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping, keep your head above water. And until then, I'll catch you all on the flip side.